In this video, I'm going to be going over how to set up a scratch org and do code development or I guess any kind of development on a Trailhead developer org. These are the orgs that you get when you log into Trailhead and there are specific modules. There's a quick start for DX. There's specific modules where you can actually launch launch your Trailhead org. So what we need to do is create a new project. I'm going to get out of this project and open up a new one. I will, let's do scratch. And the reason I'm creating a new one is because down here you can actually see that I'm logged into an old uh, scratch org or I'm logged, I'm authenticated with a different org. You know things aren't loaded when one down here it doesn't say anything and two uh, there's you know we know that we're in a blank slate when when none of the extensions show. So we actually need to create a uh, Salesforce project not with manifest. With manifest as if you're it's a completely different type of uh, organization structure. Give it a name, creating a bunch of default uh, information. So like the configuration, the project JSON. Some of these you can actually preload in, um, especially this with, there are some values that we can preload for this so that you know it sets up our org a little bit differently. Anyway, so now we see down here it says no default org uh, set. We could actually uh, authenticate through here or use a couple older ones that we have uh, so what we want to do is authorize through a dev hub. So to make sure that we can actually use the dev hub, we need to go into our trailhead org. So we can click launch here, or if you have a bunch of them, go through your profile and click on this. And now it loads you into your trailhead org. So what needs to happen now is making sure that the dev hub is actually activated. Go into your setup, dev hub. And here we need to make sure that this is enabled. You can't enable it once it's, you can't unenable it so, or disable it. Um, and then for the rest of these things, they are good to have, um, but we won't be talking about them for, that, for this tutorial. So it should open up a web page. Boom. We are now, oh, this is weird. We now need to uh, log in. So we don't actually know if this is your first time trying to log in through a trailhead org, you don't actually know the username and password. So you actually have to go back into here. Select your, your profile reset. follow through that email, but you you should have uh, your username here. If not, you know, you can just go on here and grab the username. So follow through with uh, the process of changing the password. It seems like since I reset my password, it forces me to change it. Cool. Then it says you can close the browser. Everything is authenticated. Perfect. But even down here still, there's no default org set. So on top of this, we need to create a scratch org. Uh, so this is the project scratch definition, which is what I was showing you. We're going to be using the default one. And then if we need to change the alias name, we can. I'll just call this scratch test. We pick the number of days on how long we want the org to last. I like to use one, especially for my tutorials to make sure that I'm getting things right. If you get them wrong, you have to redo it, which then makes you repetition, makes you remember things better. Now this is going, it does take a little minute to 
actually create everything for that spinning up an org. That didn't take that long. And then we can see at the bottom here it has scratch test on here. This is our new scratch org with one user created and we are able to do scratch development on it, pushes and pulls. And in some later videos, you'll be able to see how that's working, especially if you want to check out the round robin trigger that I've been working on recently.